telescopes are time machines. Webb will push us back into the realm of the very first stars and galaxies in the universe. It's going to allow us to understand every phase of cosmic history for the last 13 and a half billion years. In a stunning turn of events, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that has left astrophysicists around the world reeling with excitement. Just weeks after uncovering the earliest known galaxy in the universe, the JWST has detected something even more mind-bogglingly massive. The implications of this latest finding are far-reaching and have sparked a frenzy of speculation among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. What could it be? What does it mean for our understanding of the cosmos? In today's video, we dive headfirst into the latest discovery of the James Webb Telescope and uncover the secrets that could change everything we thought we knew about the universe. On Christmas Day in 2021, NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope on a mission to explore the universe's first stars and galaxies. The JWST's deployment was successful and it has captured breathtaking images of star deaths and galaxies from a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. However, recently, the JWST and Hubble detected an unusual and massive phenomenon, a supermassive black hole that's running away from its galaxy at a staggering speed of 4 million miles per hour. This latest discovery is challenging the scientific community's view of black holes. Typically, black holes are considered colossal entities that pull everything toward them, including light, but the newly observed black hole seems to be having the opposite effect. This supermassive black hole is breaking all the rules. Rather than sucking in light, like we've always thought black holes do, it's actually creating new baby stars. A long trail of these newborn stars has been observed in the wake of the black hole, stretching out an incredible distance of 200,000 light years. Scientists are still puzzled about why this black hole is behaving so differently from others, but a team led by Yale astronomy professor Peter van Dockham recently reported their findings in the astrophysical journal Letters. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also confirmed these observations, with Dockham's research suggesting that the black hole sparks new stars into life when it comes into contact with gas and cools it down. What we're seeing is the aftermath, Dockham said. Like the wake behind a ship, we're seeing the wake behind the black hole. And that's not all. Just last week, NASA made an exciting announcement that the James Webb Space Telescope captured the incredible galactic merger ARP-220. This breathtaking phenomenon can be seen shining brightly among other galaxies in the night sky as two spiral galaxies merge into one. ARP-220 is known to shine the brightest in infrared light, making it a perfect target for Webb's observations. It is classified as an ultra-luminous infrared galaxy, ULIRG, which means it has a luminosity of more than a trillion suns, compared to our own Milky Way galaxy's much smaller luminosity of around 10 billion suns. Located in the constellation of Serpents, about 250 million light-years away, ARP-220 is considered the brightest of the three galactic mergers that are closest to Earth, and it's the 220th object in Halton ARP's Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. About 700 million years ago, the two spiral galaxies smashed into each other, triggering a massive burst of star formation. This created a densely packed dusty region about 5,000 light years wide, where around 200 huge star clusters reside. It's hard to believe, but this tiny area contains as much gas as the entire Milky Way galaxy. In a previous observation with a radio telescope, around 100 supernova remnants were discovered in an area less than 500 light years wide. The Hubble Space Telescope later revealed the cores of the parent galaxies, located 1,200 light years apart. Each core contains a rotating star forming ring that emits dazzling infrared light, which is evident in the latest web view. The bright light also creates diffraction spikes, giving the image a starburst effect. Webb's image also shows faint tidal tails extending from the merger's outskirts, indicating the gravitational attraction between the two galaxies. Finally, reddish-orange streams and filaments represent organic materials scattered across ARP-220. Now let's delve into a remarkable discovery that has left the scientific community in awe. When researchers initially stumbled upon primordial galaxies at the universe's edge, they were skeptical about the possibility 
Their first thought was that these distant galaxies might be closer ones in disguise, so they shared the data with fellow scientists worldwide, hoping for the best. And to everyone's amazement, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these ancient galaxies are indeed real. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we now have a clear view of the most ancient galaxies ever observed. Astronomers estimate that the light from these galaxies has travelled more than 13.5 billion years to reach Earth, providing us with a glimpse of the universe's distant past. Let's break down the significance of this latest discovery. These galaxies were found to have existed when the universe was just a mere 350 million years old, and this sheds light on how quickly the first generations of galaxies emerged. The excitement in the air is palpable, as the spectrum data has confirmed what scientists hoped for. These galaxies are truly at the edge of our view, some of them even further than what Hubble could see. But why is this discovery so critical? Well, it validates one of the most important tasks of the James Webb Space Telescope, studying the early universe through light that has been travelling for over 13.5 billion years and whose wavelengths have been stretched by the expansion of the universe, a phenomenon known as redshift. The ability to measure extreme redshifts is what sets the JWST apart, allowing astronomers to peer into the infrared range and observe the earliest galaxies in the universe. And this discovery has caused a seismic shift in our understanding of the universe. Moreover, it will prompt NASA to create even more powerful telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope to confirm if the Big Bang occurred when we believed it did. The data obtained from Webb's near-infrared camera and spectrograph revealed that four of the six primordial galaxies have extreme redshifts. This means that JWST is observing them as if they existed 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, without any heavy elements like carbon. This is significant because the universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old, and the existence of these galaxies suggests that we need to revise our understanding of the early universe. According to our understanding of the cosmos, the epoch of reionization occurred around 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. This was when gas and dust started to come together to form stars in proto-galaxies. It took millions of years for this process to play out before the universe took the shape that we know it has today. Given this timeline, there shouldn't be galaxies that are so well formed just 500 million years after the Big Bang as the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed. So what exactly is happening? The scientific community is beginning to panic as they attempt to reconcile these new discoveries with the current model of cosmological inflation. But the Big Bang theory, despite being one of the most ambitious theories to explain the origins of the universe, has a few loopholes. For instance, it goes against the law of thermodynamics, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only transformed. Moreover, we have no idea what caused the Big Bang or how the universe suddenly emerged from the Dark Ages during the epoch of reionization. And now the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering these galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself, challenging everything we thought we knew about the universe's birth. As Michio Kaku, the famous American theoretical physicist, put it, well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realise that we have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Researchers had previously reported that these galaxies were as developed as our own Milky Way, and a new paper has only confirmed those findings by putting these ancient galaxies to the test. The results suggest that we may be missing essential information about the universe, and if we haven't made a mistake, the implications could be profound. Michio Kaku further said, Now it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Space Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. They should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong and we may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Scientists now find themselves at a crossroad as the James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries challenge what we thought we knew about the Big Bang. While certain things like cosmic microwave background radiation and the universe's expansion support the theory, Webb data has thrown a wrench into the works. Despite this, 
NASA has recently tweeted about a galaxy cluster with a redshift of 7.9, a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang, adding yet another intriguing piece to the puzzle. Astronomers have crunched the data and have concluded that the nascent cluster is expected to grow in size and mass to become similar to the colossal Coma Cluster, Abel 1656. The site where this is all taking place is unique and special as it's an area of accelerated galaxy evolution. Thanks to Webb, researchers can now measure the velocities of these seven galaxies, which gives them the confidence to confirm that they are bound together in a protocluster. To put it into perspective, a NASA scientist compared these distant galaxies to small drops of water in different rivers, which eventually will become part of one big mighty river. It's clear that what we once thought about the Big Bang is not adding up as expected, but more web data may reveal evidence that can either confirm or refute the theory. Who knows, maybe the Big Bang did happen, but what caused it to occur is a different story. Regardless, we'll have to wait for more discoveries, but the answer might be closer than we think. Now, share your thoughts on these findings below.